Hi guys, welcome welcome back to my channel. It's Nash, owner of Nash's Wallet. And for today's video, I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me on my process on how I close out my budget each month. I found a system that has definitely helped me account for almost every single dollar. And to be honest, that is music to my ears considering when I first started, I would be under and over budget by more money than I would like to be and now I'm able to account for almost every single penny and I want to share with you guys since I've had a couple people reach out asking for a little bit more detail on how I do it so here we go the system that I've created and adapted to close on my budget at the end of each month can be broken down into five main steps going into step number one is actually something that I do at the beginning of the month and I sit down and create a budget for the whole month. I think it's very important to create a new and fresh budget at the beginning of each month to reflect any new expenses or overall financial needs and goals that may not have reflected in the previous month budget. I also like to account for any notes or changes that I may have added in the previous month's closeout that can help me do better in the current month that we're in. I'm currently using the 50, 30, 20 rule when I sit down to create a budget. And if you would like to know exactly how I do that, I will link a video up in the cards that gets into more detail of how I actually break down each paycheck and what falls in those categories. Hopping into step number two, which actually ties into step number one, I make sure that I create a separate budget for every paycheck that I receive in that current month. So maybe that month I'll just be working with the money from my full-time job, but there are months that I do pay myself for my business or side hustle money that I do receive and I like to make sure that I always sit down and create a budget for that money that reflects the monthly budget. My third step is throughout the month, I have different ways of tracking the money spent in forms of trackers. In my sinking funds, for example, I have individual trackers for each category so I can make sure I am always aware of the current balance in those separate savings accounts and any money that goes in and out. As for my cash envelopes that I keep in my wallet, I kind of have the same kind of system. One of the things that I'm going to be incorporating again into my system is also tracking my checking account just to make sure that I'm always aware of the money in my account and I'm never thinking that I have more or less than I actually do. So now we get into what I actually do at the end of the month. So once we reach the end of the month and I know I'm not gonna be receiving any more income, I take the time to add up all of the individual paycheck breakdowns that I've created throughout the month and write down all of the categories and add everything up to see what I actually spent for the entire month. I double check my numbers with my trackers and just reference them to make sure that the numbers that I originally allocated for is what I actually spent or used in those categories. Last but not least, I take my overall totals and I open up my Google spreadsheet. And here is where I'll actually input those numbers in the actual column. And I take the time to compare the actual versus the budgeted that I actually put together at the beginning of the month. I make sure to put in any notes to help me better understand in what areas I may have did not so good on. So when I sit down and put together my budget for the next month, I know if I need to increase or decrease or do something different so I can do better. By using these five steps, I personally feel that there has been a major shift within my finances because I feel like I have an overall structure in how to do things. I have a system in place that allows me to see an outcome and see benefits from all of the time that I'm putting into my finances. Because in the beginning, I felt like I was doing all of this work, but I didn't have anything to show for it. And I feel like when systems are in place, 
it definitely helps get an overall better understanding and kind of rewards me personally in the process while I'm doing it. So I highly recommend to try out this system for yourself and see what you can add on or tweak to better suit your method when you sit down to close out your budget.